Once again, the review set to make sure we're on track here. Work these out if you would uh, with the video stopped and then turn it back on and I will go through them for you. So we have these intervals for all of these. The first thing to do is to find what the higher note will be. Just write it in, um, either uh, print out this page or just mentally think it through, whatever you want to do. And then we apply whatever accidentals are necessary. This is a B. A seventh above B is A. The seventh note of B major is A sharp, but this needs to be bigger than that, an augmented seven, A double sharp there. G sharp, well, uh, the fourth note of G sharp major, we really don't know what G sharp major is, do we? So let's pretend like it's a G. A fourth above G is C, and C is the fourth note of G major, so a perfect fourth above G is C, therefore a perfect fourth above G sharp is C sharp. D sharp, the sixth above is B. Well, we don't have a D sharp major. What's a major sixth above D natural? Well, that would be B. So a major sixth above D sharp is B sharp. Diminished fifth, a fifth above E is B. E to B is a major, as a perfect fifth, so diminished fifth, E to B flat. B sharp, a fifth above is F. We don't really have a B sharp major, but if we said B major, a fifth above that, perfect fifth, is F sharp, F sharp being the fifth note of B major. But it needs to be a half step higher than that when we put the sharp back on. So F double sharp goes there. Minor seventh above G flat. A seventh above is F. G flat to F, that's a major seventh. So to make it minor seventh, put a flat up there, G flat to F flat. How about these? A sharp, a seventh higher is G. We don't really have A sharp major or A sharp minor to think about. So pretend like it's A. A to G sharp is a major seventh. To G natural is a minor seventh. A to G natural is a minor seventh. But we raise it as sharp here, A sharp, that means this one has to be G sharp. A double flat. Well, this looks like trouble. A fourth above has got to be D something. Ignore the double flats. A perfect fourth above A is D. So a perfect fourth above A double flat is D double flat. We lowered them both by two half steps. Perfect octave above E sharp. This one's not too hard. It's E something. If it's E sharp here, it's E sharp there. So that's not too hard. Perfect fourth above C flat. Um, we do know C flat major, so when we put that F in here, C flat is all flats, so it's C flat to F flat. Major sixth above B double flat. There's no B double flat major that we know about, so I'll ignore the B for a minute. The sixth above B anything is G. B to G sharp is a major sixth. B flat to G natural is a major sixth and B double flat to G flat is a major six. And the last one, a perfect fifth, a fifth above D is A. A perfect fifth above D natural is A. So a perfect fifth above D sharp is A sharp. And then let's look at these. What is this? That's a sixth, it's a major sixth. This is a seventh, that is an augmented seventh. This is a perfect fifth, this one is an augmented second. A perfect, no, I'm sorry, misread it. Let's figure it out. B to E is a perfect fourth. B flat to E flat is a perfect fourth, but it's bigger than that. This is an augmented fourth. G sharp to C sharp is a perfect fourth. C to A is a major sixth. That's pretty easy. B sharp to G, hmm. Well, B natural to G would be a minor six, since B to G sharp is a major six. So B to G natural, a minor six. B sharp to G is a half step closer. That's a diminished six. D to F flat. Well, D to F sharp is a major third. D to F natural is a minor third. And D to F flat is a diminished third. A double sharp to G sharp. 
This is a tricky one. Let's take both sharps away, that sharp and one of these sharps. So now we have A sharp to G. Well, that's still kind of confusing also, all right? What if it was just A to G? A to G is a minor third, but a minor sixth, rather, because um, A to G sharp is a major sixth. So A to G, minor sixth. A sharp to G sharp, also a minor sixth. A double sharp, a half step closer, that's a diminished sixth. Here's another sixth, A double flat to F flat, another tricky one. If we took away this flat and one of these flats, we get A flat to F. That's a major six. It's the sixth note of A flat major. A flat, A double flat to F flat then is still a major six because of the distance apart. And this last one is a fourth of some kind, C sharp to F flat. Um, let's see now. If it was C, C natural to F natural, that would be a perfect fourth. C sharp to F sharp, that's a perfect fourth. So C sharp to F natural is diminished fourth, but it's even smaller than that. C sharp to F flat is a doubly diminished fourth.